Hey everyone, in this video we'll cover Astrologian updates for Final Fantasy XIV's expansion, Dawn Trail. Keep in mind that everything here is subject to final adjustments and changes. Let's get right into it. Astrologian is a pure healing job that buffs the party with its card drawing system and uses strong, timed healing spells to keep the party topped off. How cards are handled received a drastic update in Dawn Trail, removing a lot of the RNG attributed to the job. Changes from 6.0 The card system now alternates between Astral Draw for melee and tanks and Umbral Draw for ranged player bonuses. You will now have to place three play card buttons on your hotbar, as each draw automatically gives you three cards to choose from plus one Arcana, Lord of Crowns during Astral and Lady of Crowns during Umbral. Instead of having all damage based cards, we will now have ways to gain more utility with a mitigation buffing card, as well as healing boosting cards. Astral Draw will always assign Play 1 as the Balance, Play 2 as the Arrow, and Play 3 as the Spire, and the Lord of Crowns dealing a 400 potency unaspected attack to all nearby enemies. Astral Draw changes to Umbral Draw upon use. Umbral Draw will assign Play 1 as the Spear, Play 2 as the Bowl, and Play 3 as the Ewer, and a Lady of Crowns Minor Arcana, which heals everyone around you for 400 potency. Umbral Draw then changes back to Astral Draw and the cycle repeats. The Balance will grant a 6% damage buff to melee and tank, and 3% to any other roll. The Spear does the same thing but for ranged players. The Arrow grants an HP recovery bonus for a party member of 10%, for 15 seconds. The bowl reduces damage taken by a party member by 10% for 15 seconds. The spire creates a barrier around yourself or target that absorbs damage equivalent to a heal of 400 potency. This lasts for 30 seconds. The ewer grants a 200 potency healing over time effect to a party member lasting 15 seconds. To put it simply, play one will always be your damage buff card. Play 2 and 3 will be a combination of healing and mitigation bonuses. Astrodyne has been removed as a result of this update, so you will no longer require Astro Signs. At level 92, we get the instant cast AoE, Oracle, hitting all nearby targets for 600 potency. This can only be executed while Divining. Divining is granted by the Enhanced Divination trait, also learned at this level. Magic Mastery at level 94 increases Combust 3's damage over time effect to 70, and Fall Malefic to 270. Also, at 94, we get the reduced cast time for Enhanced Swift Cast, now down to 40 seconds. Level 96 gives us Helios Conjunction, replacing Aspected Helios, an AoE heal plus 15 second regen to self and nearby party members. At level 98, we get our third charge of Essential Dignity. At level 100, we get Sun Sign, that is a follow-up spell after using Neutral Sect and gaining the Sun Touched effect. This allows you to cast a party-wide mitigation ability of 10% damage reduction, lasting 15 seconds. We get access to Sun Touched at this level with the Enhanced Neutral Sect trait. Rotation Changes Astro's opener and burst will be far less hectic due to only having one damage buff card to dole out. Instead, you will have to be more selective on which DPS gets that card, and whether you're an Astral or Umbral draw for subsequent burst windows. The other cards provide extra resources for heals and mitigation, giving Astrologian even more utility at the expense of extra damage buff cards. So plan out your card uses depending on what the fight throws at you or help a player recover from mistakes, the choice is yours. Final thoughts on Astrologian. Having played this job on the side since Heaven's Word, I've seen multiple iterations of the card system. This current one simplifies things and removes the RNG that many players either hate or love. I'm not upset by the new cards. It gives us some extra tools in our kit, and we can easily plan out a card rotation since there's no randomness. Personally, I wish to have more time-based spells reintroduced it's what makes Astro unique and defines the job. Perhaps time dilation and old celestial opposition were, were just too broken to bring back. 
but I wouldn't mind a new spin on delayed heals and buffs so we can have some fun timing things. Sun Touch is going to make an already powerful cooldown even better with Neutral Sect. I'm also glad to see us getting another charge of Essential Dignity, but I do wish we had access to two charges at earlier levels. I can't wait to see what the raids have in store for us in terms of incoming damage since we're getting so many tools to help keep people alive. Time will tell. So what do you think of the new card system? Are you planning on maining Astro or are you going to try a different healer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in Dawn Trail.